Why did I stop using the Sassafras Science curriculum? Stick around to find out and to see a flip through of the first book to see if it might work for you. Sassafras Science is a story-based science curriculum that teaches science concepts based on the adventures of fictional characters Blaine and Tracy Sassafras. It consists of the main storybook, activity guide, and logbook. I have only used the first book in the series, which focuses on zoology, which I thought would be really fun in my homeschool because we already do a lot of nature study and we learn about animals on our homestead. The way it works is you read a chapter of the book and then you fill in information in the logbook based on what you read in the story. The pages in the logbook are designed specifically for the animals and habitats that the kids are learning about in the storybook. So why did I stop using it? The writing of the book is not great. <laughs> I, I just feel like there was way too much character development, too many side stories, as opposed to actual content that is educational for the kids. I found myself skipping over entire paragraphs at a time just to get to parts of the lesson that the kids could actually use to apply in their logbooks. I knew going into using Sassafras Science that it was a story-based curriculum, which is why I chose it, but I do find that it is a little too heavy on the story and a little too light on information. Here is an example that you might be able to understand. Have you ever read the Magic Treehouse books? They're great, and my kids love them and have learned a lot of his history facts from them, but imagine teaching an actual homeschool lesson based on them. I just don't think it would be robust enough to create a curriculum around. And that's how it feels when I'm trying to teach from the Sassafras Science storybook. Poor writing quality aside, I quite frankly don't have the time to read through entire chapters of a book that has way too much fluff in it. So logistically, it just doesn't work out in our homeschool because I homeschool for such a short amount of time every day. I also didn't find the teacher's guide really necessary at all, and I definitely did not need to buy it. It's basically just a teacher's guide for each chapter of the book, and it includes additional activities and materials and resources that you can use to reinforce the lessons from each chapter. Like I said, it was taking me way too long to get through the chapters of this book, so there's no way that I would have the time to incorporate any of these extra activities. Now, since my kids do actually like filling out the logbook with all the information they're learning about, I am considering buying the audiobook download that is available on the Sassafras Science website just so they can listen to the book in their own spare time and then fill out the logbook at their own leisure. They don't have an actual physical CD option for the audiobook, which would be an easier option for us, but I just wanted to let you know that is an option I am considering in order to go forward with the curriculum. Now let's do a quick flip through of book one of the Sassafras Science curriculum to see what it consists of. Let's start with the storybook. I'm mostly just going to show you the table of contents in here so you can kind of see what the chapters are about. So it does cover a lot of different areas all over the world. And then I'll kind of flip through how it looks. There are some illustrations that kind of shows you how you need to fill out your logbook based on that. So yeah, and the chapters are pretty long. You might not be able to tell from this, but um, there are quite a few pictures too, so younger kids will like that. Now I'll also show you the guide to zoology. This is the teacher's guide I was talking about. So it has all the corresponding chapters here and it tells you how to use this guide. And then here's an example of like the resources and activities it lists for, um, or let's see, here. this is a better example. <laughs> the activities and um, different maybe scheduling options for each chapter. So that's what you could expect from the guide to zoology. And then here in the logbook, I'm just gonna show you one page from my older daughters. This is what it looks like when they fill out the logbook. So it's really cute. They give a lot of space for the kids to draw pictures, which, which is what my kids like. And yeah, it has the different sections that they're supposed to fill out. And my kids really like this part of it. So that is what you could expect from the logbook. 
I consider myself a Charlotte Mason homeschooler and my kids have enjoyed so many quality books together from our island story to tales from Shakespeare. Sadly, Sassafras Science just doesn't really live up to those literary standards that I've set for our read-alouds. The bottom line is that even though Sassafras Science is marketed as a story-based curriculum, which it is, that doesn't qualify it as a living book that would fit into a Charlotte Mason-inspired homeschool. Which curriculum has not worked out for you this year? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. See you next time.